So this is a Fluke PRV 240FS that I've hooked up to a power supply to see what current is drawn because the battery has only lasted around about six weeks in it, uh, which is very, very poor really. And what I've found out, power supply has been set up to six volts. And when you first kick it on, you can see it's running around about 16 nanoamps. And then if I do a test with it, just with the finger, you can see it's drawing 107 milliamps, 108 milliamps uh, during a test. And then after that test, it drops back down to four and a half ish milliamps. And sometimes after a few moments, the supply will then drop back down to around about 16, 17 nanoamps. Um, but it doesn't always do that. And sometimes it stays drawing four and a half milliamps, which would probably explain why the batteries haven't lasted very long. Because there doesn't seem to be any fixed methodology as to why it drops to 16 nanoamps or it drops to four and a half milliamps. Um, we'll see, I'll probably get in the way, but we'll do a test with the T110 as well. See what happens. Switching over to AC, you see it stays drawing 15-16 nanoamps. Try give that away. So when you're actually doing a test, it drops up to around about 170 milliamps at most. And on that occasion it drops straight back down 15 nanoamps. Hmm. Do that again. 160. And on that occasion, it's dropped down to four and a half milliamps. So yeah, no real reasons to why. Let me get on DC. And do another test. Current occasion it's dropped back down to nano amps. Okay, so the first test it seems to drop back down to nano amps. Fine, batteries will last. But when I do the second test, it seems to stop at four and a half milliamps and sometimes will stay there, which will explain the draw on the batteries.